In this chapter, we'll learn how to create new documents, make and use templates, and how to convert our documents for use with InDesign CS4. Are you ready? Let's go! Let's begin by creating a new document. You can create a new document in InDesign two different ways. You could use the Welcome screen, which we see here, or you could use the File menu. Let's use the File menu. Choose File, and then New, and choose Document. This interface allows you to set up the new document. There are several features of this interface which are important. First, and we'll come back to this, is the document presets. You'll see that it's set to default currently. Next is the intent. This is where you choose where the document is for print or for web, and we'll be looking at that more closely in the next lesson. Off the bat, you can set the number of pages the document will be, what number the page numbering will start on, whether there are facing pages, whether there's a master text frame, and in that case, there's a text frame that's put onto the master page, and that text frame will appear on every page in the document. You can also choose a page size. There are many page sizes available through this drop-down menu here. You can see that it's not just print type documents, although the print type documents do appear at the top. We can see U.S. page sizes as well as European page sizes, but there's also a business card and compact disc, and, down at the bottom, a number of screen sizes. For the new document we're creating right now, let's choose Letter. You can also determine the orientation. This is Portrait, and this is Landscape. If you don't like the preset sizes, you can choose new sizes here. We can also type in custom dimensions in any unit we like. If we'd like to build an 8 inch by 8 inch page, for instance, then we could simply type in 8 inches and 8 inches. Select the width and type 8 space IN. Type a tab to go to the height. You'll notice that InDesign automatically converted inches to points in picas. Type 8 inches again. And then tab. Next we can choose the number of columns each page will have. In this case, I'd like to have three columns. I can either type in the number three, or I can use the controls to increase the number. The gutter is the space between the columns. One pica is the default size. That is a sixth of an inch, and it turns out to be a common size in newspapers and magazines. If that size doesn't suit you, you can type any other number in any unit you prefer. You can also see the margins down below. If the link is selected here, then all of the values will be the same. To have different margin values, you need to deselect the link. Let's set the inside margin to be 6 picas. So deselect the link, and then type a 6 here. There are some more options that are available to you, and to see them, you need to click the More Options button. This reveals the bleed and the slug measurements. The bleed is the area where artwork can extend outside of your page, and it gets cut off in the printing process. The slug area is also outside of your page, and often it's used to send messages in the document margins or to send messages to your printer. Many of us don't use these options when we're designing a document around the office, for instance, and so we can click the Fewer Options button until we need bleed and slug. Lastly, I'd like to save this as a preset. If we create a preset, it will allow us to quickly build a document without having to go through the setup procedure again. Let's save this preset as our Square Photo Book. Click Save Preset, and then type Square Photo Book. When you're done, click OK. Now we have a new document preset called Square Photo Book. When we want to create a new Square Photo Book, we can simply choose it from the preset list. Now that we have our new document set, let's click OK. InDesign has now created this document for us. Let's use our preset to create another one. Choose File, and then under the Document Presets, choose our preset that we just created. You'll see Square Photo Book right here. We go right to the new document, and Square Photo Book is set up. 
Let's make one with eight pages. InDesign automatically highlights the number of pages. Simply type eight and then click OK. Now we have an eight page square photo book. Go ahead and close both of these documents.